Okay, guys, so back with another unboxing. This one's from Amazon, and yeah. Um, now, yes, I did do an Amazon unboxing, two of them um, from a week ago, so yep. Uh, anyway, here we go. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back in the next scene. Alrighty, guys. So, here it is. The Miro Togata figure, which... Who opened this? Why would anyone even do this? This is the first time this happened to me, but... Let's go ahead and get them out of the box. Anyway, so here we go. Alrighty, guys. So here is Lemillion or Miro Togata to out of the box. So it says slightly rotates. Front and back. Up and down. Hands also rotate, so that's the waist, and the legs too. So yeah, this review is just going to get a 100 out of 100, but the unboxing is going to get a 90.5, because, well, someone literally opened up my figurine right before they shipped it. But anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, ladies and gents, I am back with another unboxing video. Now, yes, if y'all remember about two days ago, I did an unboxing on uh, this Miro action figure from McFarlane Toys. And it's like, and I don't want to like rotate the he head, which I forgot to tell you about that, because it's had to slightly, he like, you can slightly remove his head. Not like remove it, like just rotate his head. Which, yes, Amazon did find out that, uh, what happened about when I received the to the action figure from his packaging, like inside, like the toys packaging, like, was literally like the plastic thing that's on the the cardboard was off, but yep, uh, good thing and they gave me like I bought something else out of this. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get this unboxed, shall we? In three, two, one. Also, I forgot to mention. Uh, stay tuned for a review for this tomorrow morning on the Super Mario Bros. Runder stickers. I, um, my brother got me this when he went to GameStop last night at midnight because it was the Spider-Man 2 and, uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder re midnight released. But, um, uh, yep. Stay tuned for that review, and again, that's for November's unboxing. So it's this one. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this out of the bag. Okay, so I got this thing called a called a Magna, which uh, it's like this, but it's like really backwards. You can tell, like. But I wish I could show you guys the other things, too. But anyway, this is actually volume 3 of Spy Family. Because, uh, to be honest, it's... I, it's been, like, what, nine months since I did a video about Spy Family? So, anyway, um, here is year on the, the, um, cover. And I paid, like, Amazon credit for this. But anyway, guys, uh... I'm going to, like, re uh, 
read it uh, like while the video is paused and give it a, a review. So, see you guys later. Okay, so final review. Um, not gonna lie, this is actually a heartwarming story. Really cute story, actually. Um, 100 out of 100. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. But still, I'm really, truly sorry that uh, this video has to be like three minutes because, uh, well, yeah, I'm truly sorry for that. And also, I think that was one of my dwarves. And also, stay tuned for an uh, review for this tomorrow morning. But anyway, guys, like I said, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys the front with it. It's just the stickers. But yes, if some of y'all didn't actually know, Marvel Spider-Man 2 Super Mario Bros. Runder just came out yesterday. One on Switch, one on PS5. So here's the front. We got Elephant Mario, Luigi, Mario, Yoshi, the new flowers, Peach, Toad, Goomba, and Daisy. So yep, yeah, um, it's in like this weird, it looks like one of those weird bags that you just put like the paper, papers in, in my opinion. So, yep, I think you only get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which I thought it was eight. So, yep, uh, here is the front and here's the back. Here is the back. Now, it's just like the cover from the game. And, yes, this is kind of like a poster. Well, technically not a poster because, you know, it's like... Uh, a sheet with stickers on it and I just found this pretty pretty cool but um anyway guys hope you guys like comment subscribe and before I end this video let me just say this and I'll end the video real quick so here we go um I'm not gonna take the stickers off the the thing that's like stick to the it I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing my words, but I'm am displaying this, and I am getting this out there before no. I'm trying to like do this for an early November unboxing, but again, this is just a review on the stickers. But um, anyway, guys, uh, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, yes. This is my second stitch plush. So, y'all want to know what happened to my first stitch plush? I still got it right here. Um, I'm still not crazy about the little floppy hair on his head. But, yes, I did review this a few years ago. So, let's go ahead and review the big plushie I bought from Walmart by Just Play two days ago. So, here we go. Okay, guys, so here is the big plush I bought from Walmart the other day. So, yes, this one is made by Just Play. Now, you see the little, like, inside the ears? They're supposed to be purple, but on the Disney Shop plushie right here, because, yes, this is from Disney Shop, supposed to be purple, but to me, like, right there, it looks pink. So, yep, uh, here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, and the front again. So, yep, um, you see, like, the, his little belly part right here? It's supposed to be, like, a shiny blue, but I think they didn't have time to make that, but it is what it is. Now, let's go ahead and take the tag off to see what the tag looks like without the tag on. So, here we go. Alrighty, guys. So, here's the plushie without the tag on. And this plush review is going to get a 100 out of a 100. But, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe.